आजकल ये वीडियो रे आमे पढ़ेगा कुछ बा इंजीनियर मेकैनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग मेकैनिक्स रो आज ही आमे पढ़ेगा फंडामेंटल ऑफ फंडामेंटल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मेकैनिक्स आज ही आमे पढ़ेगा फंडामेंटल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मेकैनिक्स Engineering mechanics is an important subject in engineering and this one is the most fearful subject in the first year most fearful subject in the first year but we must remember one jargon from the cold ring sad dar ke aage jeet hai so when you fear most we forget that this subject is not so much fearful but this is a easy subject but it require little understanding and concentration and focus so today we are going to discuss fundamental of engineering mechanics so what is fundamental of engineering mechanics so engineering mechanics here we can see that engineering mechanics consists of two words one is engineering and second one is mechanics to understand any subject we very first step should be we must understand what the name implies because nomenclature is very nomenclature plays a very important role in understanding a subject so here engineering and mechanics so very first we have to understand what is engineering what is what is engineering so we have to understand what is engineering this is a very basic question whenever we ask anybody or whoever pursuing um, in engineering even he can't answer this simple question what is engineering so the definition of engineering is it is the creative application of scientific principle applied mathematics or applied science to design and construct a product which is going to help human kind to fulfill their basic or luxurious need with minimal cost and maximum safety okay so here two things we have to remember one is basic and luxurious and maximum safety so what is the function of an engineer the function of an engineer is to provide or fulfill the basic requirement of human basic requirement of human kind human kind so for that what we need we need some scientific skill so from where we get scientific skill from scientific principle and and what are those scientific principle that scientific principle will come from applied mathematics applied science and applied science so because nowadays we are very much conscious about ecology when you conscious about ecology so we have to understand we have to value uh, we have to value the environmental aspect in a product design today we are not only designing a product on the basis of uh, what the a human kind requires but we but we design a product um 
considering the factor of environmental conditions. So, in science, environmental will also come. So, what is engineering? So, we can also say that engineering is a process. Engineering is a process by which we design service or product to fulfill it is a process by which we design process in which we design product or service using scientific principle scientific principle to fulfill needs of human needs of human kind so next question is what is what is mechanics what is mechanics so mechanic it is the branch of science which describe and predict the condition of rest or motion of bodies under action of force under action of force so mechanics mechanics it is the it is the branch of branch of science which describe and predict the condition of rest or motion motion of bodies under action under action of the force under action of force okay. so what is this it is the branch of science and which is describe and predict the condition of rest of motion of the bodies under the action of force under the action of force under the action of force so next thing is define engineering sorry engineering mechanics engineering mechanics so so it is the branch of what it is the branch of engineering engineering that applies the principle of mechanics to design which mistake into which which takes into account account effect of force count effect of account effect of force account effect of force so from this we come to know that what is engineering and what is mechanics and now we come to know what is engineering and mechanics so next next is classification 
नेक्स्ट इज क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स ठीक है जी तो इंजीनियरिंग क्लासिफिकेशन इज डिवाइडेड इनटू डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स on two parameter this device one parameter is state of motion and second parameter is state of object classification of engineer mechanics on two parameter two parameter two parameter parameter two parameter one is state of motion and other is state of object state of object so on on the basis of state of motion state of motion it is classified into two types into classified into two types one is statics and another one is another one is dynamic statics and another one is dynamics and dynamics is further divided into two types one is kinetics and another is kinematics kinematics so what is statics statics is what is statics statics is the so first we have to know what is state of motion state of motion there are two type of state of motion one is rest and another one is motion so a object a object a object have two two state of motion either it is rest or it will be in motion it will be in motion so when the object is rest then that is called statics and when object is motion then that that will be called dynamic dynamic then dynamic further divided into kinetics and kinematics so then next question arises what is static what is statics what is statics statics is it is the so we come to know that when the body is rest and that branch of engineering mechanics is known as static so we have to define now so it is the branch of mechanics branch of mechanics which deals with the study of study of the object at rest study of the object at study of the object at study of the object at rest then dynamics dynamics what dynamics soji it is the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of the object at at motion at at motion theek hai right then as we know dynamics further divided into two types here we mentioned that one is kinetics and another is kinematics so what is kinetics what is kinetics so kinetics is it is the branch of mechanics it is the branch of mechanics concern with concern with the motion 
of object with considering to the forces to the forces which causes similarly kinematics kinematics it is the branch of mechanics concern with the motion of object without considering the forces which which cause the motion so here the dynamics divided on the basis of what is your parameter your parameter is force force so when object in motion when object is motion if we consider if we consider the force which is causing the motion then that branch of mechanics is known as kinetics and when we do not con consider the force then it is called kinematics it is called kinematics so next classification is state of object state of object state of object state of object on the basis of two we classified one is rigid body and second one is resistant resistant body okay one is rigid body and another one is resistant body so what is rigid body what is rigid body so remember a body is said to be rigid body if it deform if it means it is deform deform not not if a body does not reform under action of force okay so what is rigid body rigid body a body a body is said to be rigid body if it does not deform under the action of applied force jadi if we applied force on a let let this is a body a and we are applied a force f and if no deformation no deform no deform mean there is there will be no change in no change in shape and size no change no change in shape and size no change in shape and size then it is then it is known as rigid body so what is resistant body resist stunt what is what is resistant body so definition is simply same here will if if it deform if it deform under the action of force okay a body is said to be resistant body if it deform under action of under action of force then it is called resistant body resistant body so this is the basic term and terminology we will be going to use in engineering mechanics this is our class lecture
lecture 1 and next in lecture 2 we will discuss about force here what here we came to know about what is engineering what is mechanics and what is engineering mechanics classification of engineering mechanics it is divided into two types on the basis of two parameters state of motion state of object on state of motion what is state means rest and motion so when an object is in rest that branch of mechanics is known as statics and when the object in motion that branch of mechanics is known as dynamics and dynamics for the classified into two types kinematics and kinetics so what is kinetic is a is it is that branch of physics sorry that branch of mechanics in which in which we consider the cause of motion caused by cause of mass cause of motion by force if we consider it then it is kinematics if we don't consider the force which is causing the motion then it is kinematics so if, if you want to read the all the notes then you can log on to classkhata.blogpost.com and stay tuned for second class thank you